What's going on guys, Rudalinel here bringing you another code commentary. Uh, today we looked at some Python code that I wrote in class as usual. <laughs> you know that I'm kind of limited on time, so being able to write code in class is kind of convenient. And I'll just record it for you. Uh, this is this is really just me commenting, and I think I might have changed a couple functions or a couple protocols that I was doing. But uh, yeah, th what you're looking at is uh, Tenebris, and I named it that way because it is serpent spelled backwards, and I thought it was kind of witty <laughs> since it's running in Python. I don't know if I've talked about this code before, but uh, what this does, this is like a, it's it's like a, a second version of Bashalisk, and you might have heard me talking about that one before. Bashalisk was a program written in Bash uh, that would loop through uh, net shares or available network uh, drives, obviously on the network, and then it would copy some password retrieval programs over to them and then run them. <laughs> so it was, a little, it was a little bit twisted, but you know, it's it, it's helpful. <laughs> so yeah, that's really all this code is. Uh, just me comment thing it um the code is not finished I, I still has i still have a lot of work to do on it, it depends on how far i actually want to go with this design but this is sort of like a, a hopefully a little bit more optimized version than what we had uh in bashalisk but yeah <laughs> That isn't really what I wanted to talk about this code commentary, though. I did want to mention um, some a little a little story that I was kind of excited to tell you guys about. I know it's been a while since I've actually updated. I think it's been, what, five days? Yeah, because it, it's December 16th. It's Friday right now, 2011 as usual. <laughs> and it's, it's well, like, 2011 is almost over, right? Like, that's crazy. I remember talking about that in another code commentary, but I mean, jeez. <laughs> you guys excited for Christmas and the new year? <laughs> but yeah, I was going to talk about that. Before we touch on that subject, it'll be a it'll my story will be kind of a leeway into it. What I was doing is I uh, I'd written no I'm sorry in class the other day. You guys know I have my digital graphic design though. Are you I can use a computer and we're doing art projects and that sort of thing with on digitally you know on with a computer and that's where I'm able to record this code commentary. But at the same time, I still should kind of be doing some work designing. <laughs> so the current project that we're working on is, is a, a scrapbook, and the 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 theme that I kind of wanted to have in the scrapbook, the sort of gimmick, the repi the uh, repetition, <laughs> yeah, the theme, I'm sure you guys get the idea, the layout, is that um, it would be that thing where you'd have tons and thousands of, holy crap, a lot of small words in the background that are like faded out, that'd be just really small font, and words that are similar or like synonyms to what it is that you're talking about on that page, and they'd just fill up the entire background, it'd just be tons of words that relate to it, except they'd be faded, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't really see all of them, and that was kind of cool, it, it looked good, but obviously I'd have to think up thousands of words, well not really thousands, but a ton of words for each section that I was writing on. And since it's a scrapbook and it's supposed to be like things that I do or I associate myself with, I put down like key club, woodworking, uh, book club, yada yada yada, all the stuff that I do, drama, theater. But <laughs> I needed to think of words like acting, performance, um, stage, people, help, audience, benefits, and I just, I would, I would think of words off the top of my head, but I would only think of, like, 10 or 15 of them. Then what I did next is I had, I wrote a bash script that would, uh, <laughs> I, I wrote a bash script, uh, it would, it would connect, it would use links, the command line web browser, and then it would dash dash dump, so it would get all the, it would get all the output from a web page, and I sent, uh, the list that I was thinking of originally to thesaurus.com, and then I would grab for the synonyms, I would cut them, uh, I would transform, I would use the tr command to actually, uh, replace some things that trans it's not transform it tr tran I, i'm th trying to think of the word and it's not coming to my head right now but i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah you you guys know what i would i was doing i was <laughs> i was replacing some characters with others so i could process the thing a lot easier and actually copy and paste it into what i needed but the thing is with that code it worked but it was it was bad code <laughs> like you know that feeling in the back of your mind when you're writing something that you know you could make better if you just wrote a function or if you if you weren't using one single function already over and over and over again? And that's kind of what I was doing. I was calling grep like three times because what I was doing when I, I grep for the synonyms, I had to grep for words that did not have any capital letters in them because so I would use a grep dash V and then a character said A to V, capital letters, and then I would um, I needed to grep for things that started with a... Uh, a line that would start with that would not start with a, a line, with a blank space, and yada yada yada. So I ended up running grep like three or four times, and it just it just looked bad. <laughs> I kept piping the input into another command, yada yada yada. 
And I wasn't really too proud of it, but it got the job done. So it's one of those things where you don't know whether your design is okay because it's doing the it's doing what you needed to do, or at the same time, you know, you got that feeling of doubt that like, oh, this isn't really that good of a that that good of a program. I mean, I could make this better if I really wanted to put more time into it. Yada yada yada. <laughs> and I feel like if I knew more regular expressions or ways that I could m modify grep and like if I could use more command line utilities like sed or awk then I'd be able to get the job done a little bit better. And that's that's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I want to learn these new things. And you can see me in the video. I'm actually looking up regular expressions, that module in Python, so I can try and learn more things with it and just get more done. But that this is the point where it leeways in the next subject. That now it is the holiday season, and I'm incredibly excited about that. You guys are you guys are all gonna have an awesome time with your friends and family. If you aren't, you should come hang out with me, cause we're gonna have an awesome time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, what are you guys asking for for Christmas? What are you guys excited for? Like, are you what are you doing to keep yourself entertained? Are you getting presents? Are you getting toys? <laughs> like. For me, I'm asking, uh, I actually got my new laptop, like I was telling you guys about. This thing is, the laptop is amazing. It's got, um, what is it? I, I feel like I've already told you all this. It's the i7 processor inside, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 750 uh, hard drive, H HP Pavilion DV6 is what it is. Yeah, I've told you all this, I'm sorry. But I was I'm really excited about that. It's I, I put Ubuntu 11.10 on it, like I told you and everything. It dual boots Windows 7 with Wubi, yada yada yada. But... Other than that, I got the Nokia N900 registered, and oh my god, that is such a slick device. I can't say it enough. I absolutely love that phone. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I asked for uh, a book by Kevin Mitnick. He's the author, and I, I feel like I, yeah, I've talked about him before, uh, with Ghost in the Wires, that book that he just released. Um, I had, uh, I had The Art of Deception, and then I, what I asked for Christmas is The Art of Intrusion, because that's the only book by him that I don't have yet. And I'm excited about that, I'm really, really excited about that, I think it's gonna be awesome. And, uh, I asked for, uh, I asked for one of the O'Reilly books on, uh, Set and Awk, like I was telling you guys about. Maybe I asked for a little bit of CSS3. Really, anything that's about computers, I would like to have. And I'm sure you guys, as my viewers, because, I mean, I, I talk code and all that. I, if you keep listening to me, I'm sure you're probably interested in programming and that sort of thing. So, what are you guys asking for? Let me know in the comments. Like, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I'm interested. Really, I am. But... I really, I love the holiday season, it's awesome, the music is cool, just being able to be with family and friends, it's just, the, the atmosphere and the aroma, not the aroma, oh my god, that's a terrible word, the aura, the vibe, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm thinking, I'm sure, but I, I'm excited, I'm stoked, there's so much really awesome stuff going on, I have got, I've got a lot of new ideas for programming, especially now the Nokia 900 is registered, so there's a lot of slick things that I want to be able to use. Alright, it uh, looks like I'm running out of time here, guys. In fact, you're looking at a blank screen right now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, please comment, rate, uh, like. It's not rate, it's like. <laughs> Still going to get that through my head. Favorite, subscribe, do your thing, guys. Thank you so much, and have a great day.